it all started with a little bit of planning a lot of chatter and a whole lot of excitement these next four days are going to be phenomenal day one preparation and leaving long island so a few days ago we started with some planning right the first thing first you know what you gonna need what kind of you know what kind of uh, clothes to wear what kind of things to carry with us the forecast showed a lot of rain in the new hampshire area especially in the northern part fortunately that changed uh, prepared for the bike. Right, so, our first rally point, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, this is our lead, right? You're the right lead? I am the lead. Mr. President and Mr. Vice President. It doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. Riding next to these two. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! We have one more person waiting, but he's gonna join us on Cross Island. Are we taking Cross Island still? Yes. Yeah. We yeah. Okay. We have to. <laughs> That's a great view, we have our exit coming up on right. Just like any other ride, Long Island BMW Riders Club does not go anywhere without fueling up. And I'm not talking about motorcycles, I'm talking about Tommy. Oh, that was some good food. Should we refuel the bikes now? This is Silk Road Cover Bridge, built in 1940. It is 88 feet long and 15 feet wide, so one car at a time. We're gonna turn around right here. First, we hear some sirens. We're leaving the bridge now and we'll be joining US Route 7 North to go to our final destination. We have done so far 190 miles and the last stretch is 160 miles which includes I-91 and it's going to be a little bit boring but before we head forward we will be taking a much needed coffee break. Donuts and Krispy Kreme. We should put a swimming pool in here. Perfect. Yeah, probably was. <laughs> this is why we ride, people. This is why we ride. That's a nice lead there. Keep it steady. After about three more hours of riding, we reached Franconia, New Hampshire to meet Group 2. Apparently the Group 2 was already there two minutes before we showed up. So it all worked out. This will be our home for next three nights. So I'm in Franconia, New Hampshire right now. We left this morning around 10 a.m. The original plan was to leave at 6.30, but unfortunately, you know, we saw the weather. Well. Not unfortunately we saw the weather. We saw the weather and unfortunately there was gonna be a lot of rain. So we decided that we would leave at 10 o'clock instead of 6.30 than we had planned for. 
and actually it turned out pretty well. The best part is we were all connected, five riders connected via Cardo uh, headsets. Cardo is not sponsoring this video, it's just something that I love. Um, I didn't get the same experience with Senna, but I, I don't think I had the top end model of Senna, so maybe Senna also has those features. So, but um, at least the one I have, Cardo, works pretty well. We all just connected with each other. We've been talking throughout the way. I mean, I know some people may not like that, but at least the five of us in the same group, we loved uh, that feature. We just kept it on. You know, there were some stretches when nobody talked, so we were just listening to our own music. So at least I was listening to my own music library, and uh, anytime when someone's, someone talks, the Carter would suppress the music volume, and then, you know, you could just casually talk without having to press any button and the thing lasted whole day i mean we left at 10 o'clock we reached here at the hotel around 6 30 maybe 7 7 p.m so it lasted a whole day didn't have to charge it didn't have to reconnect you know disconnect any of that it just worked so yeah cardo gets all five stars from from me uh tomorrow we have a plan to go to new uh well we are in new hampshire tomorrow we have a plan to go to mount washington um at least the idea is to reach up top at 9 a.m uh, on top of the mountain it's going to be about 35 uh fahrenheit and that's the wind chill temperature the actual is going to be like 50 the wind chills 35 uh, they're expecting up to 30 mile gusts so we'll really know the gates will open at 9 a.m to go up uh, the mountain but uh, weather permitting so I don't think it's gonna be an issue tomorrow I'm glad that we're getting to go tomorrow and it's not raining it's not you know really crazy weather where they'll just you know close the uh, entrance I think that is it I'm not tired at all I'm comfortable just sitting things are charging as they're supposed to this camera will go on charge I have been recording throughout the day the battery for the GoPro just like lasted. I mean, I'm still recording on the same battery that I didn't charge. This is GoPro 10. Um, and I have Insta 360 X2, which I think still had at least 60 to 70% of battery left. So both cameras did pretty well. Good morning in New Hampshire. We're going up the Mount Washington today and this is how the day looks like. The bikes are parked right over there. Some people are already going there to load up their gear. And the bags. I'm just getting ready. My gear is all there. And we'll be heading out soon. Well, right after the breakfast. of Mount Washington is the beginning of the Mount Washington Auto Road. There's nominal fees. Let's see, it's $39 for a car and driver, passengers more, motorcycles 25, children less. So maybe Andrea and I won't have to pay $25 full fees. We'll see about that. Wow, this is a great view. Is a cliff on my right side, and we're at 4,000 feet. Continuing on.
people, we are officially going into the clouds now. Look at the clouds. The cloud ceiling is below me on the left hand side. And the mountain is covered in clouds. Visibility is so low right now. I can't even see two riders up ahead. I could only see Bruce in front of me But it's been phenomenal fantastic road and amazing weather Woohoo we made it we're on the top Made it! Made it! Some people are still coming. Look at that restaurant. Oh, those are nice stats. We stayed about 15 20 minutes, had some hot chocolate, it was much needed in the cold, and started our descent shortly after. The views were scenic, as you will see. Oh, this is a good idea to pull over here. Look at the view. Let's change the beat here. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I
yeah i guess i'm gonna stick that on my motorcycle later uh, this was in my backpack so we did our mount washington run today it was amazing i mean going up it was so crazy it was just windy i would say a lot windier it was overcast i had my built storm pants i had my built storm jacket which goes with those pants and i had liners in them and on top of that i had like a t-shirt on top which is okay but i had uh thermal like a skinny thermal wear inside and i think i did overdress i had my winter boots uh which i had taken you know boots they, they're like this high all the way up uh i think that was overkill it was fun i wasn't terrified at all uh in fact at one point i actually had my cruise control on like at 27 miles an hour and uh it was steady climb at uh, you know in second gear uh, Mount Washington is a nice trip if you want something really challenged and want to achieve something on your motorcycle. I think that's a very challenging route up there. It's eight miles and you climb up to 6,000 feet. It was cold, it was windy, uh, but yeah, it does push you on one side. One thing was good that the wind actually comes from the cliff side, so it's not as scary, you know. I mean, pretty sure for some people it would be scary. There were some people in the group, you know, who were shaken up uh, visibly and then they did admit, I mean, if you're humble enough to understand your limits, no daredevils there. Uh, it was very easy. We unfortunately couldn't stop at a cliffside because we were 10 motorcycles and, uh, you know, we tried a couple of times, but no. So we stopped at this great spot and these are the pictures. I mean, this is crazy, crazy views here. Uh, we got some couple of pictures. There was like a small trail that we could take um, All the way up top it was all cloudy. So it was all foggy uh, it was raining our visors got like all uh, Fogged up we couldn't do anything all my you know my main visor and my sun visor everything was up So basically there was like very less protection for the eyes, but again, you cannot do anything you want to see first you can't you know the it, with the visors down, everything was fucked up, like nothing. I mean, my helmet is Schubert C5. I have pin lock installed inside already, but it was still not good. I think the water got in somehow, and uh, you know, it was just small water droplets. They wouldn't just go away. And you know, you're not going, you know, you're not riding highway speeds, because you know, on highway speeds, if you have some raindrops on your visor, you can look on the side or up or whatever, they just fly away. We were doing 20 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour when we were going up on second gear. Uh, it's a steep uphill. There's a couple of, you know, um, uh, hairpin bends, uh, but yeah, it's all part of the climbing. So I would definitely recommend going up here. It took us maybe about 20 minutes to 22 minutes to go up uh, at that speed. All 10 of us made it very safely. And uh, also we had a chance to, you know, go up there, have some hot cocoa, Maybe use bathroom a couple of times and just hang around, took some pictures. As we started going down, it started actually raining towards the uh, last stretch. And uh, it, it rained pretty good. We had our lunch at a very nice restaurant, actually speaking, near, I think, Conway, New Hampshire. And after that, we took the world famous Kankamegas Highway. Uh, we did one stop, you know, the usual one that we always do during our fall trips and relaxed. And one of the group members uh, tried to catch some fish. No luck. Uh, we're going to a Thai restaurant now. Uh, overall, the trip is amazing, uh, but everybody's relaxing right now. I'm in my t-shirt, my regular jeans. That's, that's the day today. Day two of our New Hampshire trip. Happy birthday! Thank you. She did a nice job for you. Thank you. Oh my God. Smile, Joseph. Smile. That was a real surprise. You know, shocked me. Whose idea was this? It's almost, it's almost like it's not his birthday. Take your guess. Take your guess. December 23rd is your birthday. Is your birthday December 31, by the way? Yay!
This is a beautiful 60 degree morning in New Hampshire. I'm sorry for the mess here. Um, we just had a quick breakfast and uh, we're all ready to go. Kick stand up in about 15 minutes. This is my club logo and this is the channel logo. I feel like a new t-shirt. Today is a little bit warm, warmer than yesterday. So we're gonna gear up light. Let's get on with the day. Thank you for watching part one of this trip. I appreciate your time and your feedback. Hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you like, dislike, and how I can improve. The second part will be dropping soon, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notification. Watch for motorcycles, be kind, and until next time, peace.